Hello friends, welcome to the .NET office. In this video, we will discuss about like how we can exclude Angular unit test case from the execution. And before proceeding with this video, I recommend you please watch part five of this tutorial series where we understood how to write the unit test case and how we execute the unit test case in the Angular. So let's understand how we can exclude a particular or specific unit test case from the execution now there is a requirement like we have couple of the like five or six unit test case and we don't want to run a particular unit test case from the execution so that we can do by using the x keyword that we have to prefix uh, before the it like uh, how we write the unit test case so basically we use the it and then uh, inside that we write the logic and then we compare it or we expect it and then according to that we run the unit test case now for an example if i do if i don't want to run that specific unit test case then what i have to do i have to prefix x uh, before the it then what will happen it will not execute that particular unit test case so let's understand it by practical so let's go to the visual studio and these are the unit test case we are having and currently there are six success like there are six unit test case and when i go on the browser and we can see six uh, test case are passing now what i will do i will do like this last one show the addition result i don't want to execute this particular test case then what i will do i will prefix x keyword here i will save it so once i will save it and i'll go on the browser so what i will see here i will see like that particular um, unit test case will not be run and we will uh, see that particular like as a pending unit test case so now it's uh, building so once uh, it will uh, reconnect then what will we will see the output here so it's loading so now here we can see like there are six uh, test cases and among them one is the pending uh, test case and here we can see like show the addition result pending with message is temporarily disabled with x it so that we can see like this particular test case is not uh, like um, running like it's not in the execution process now what i will do here so here instead of this like here so what i will do i will change it to to be with 10 and i will save it at point of this time so here currently like i have used as a x8 and now 10 and 20 the sum of the 10 and 20 is the 10 so now let's go to the browser and here we can see like it is not giving us any error because this is not coming under the because it is not executing this particular unit test case but if i will remove it from here and now if i will run it then it will give us the uh, error like this particular unit test case is failing so here now zero failure now it will show that five is passing and one is failure because here we are uh, including it into the execution and we are not giving the correct result so this is the way we can like exclude particular uh, unit test case from the execution by using put the x now this is for the unit test case like particular test case what if i don't want to run that entire suit like i don't want to run this particular uh, suit so what i will do before the describe i will put the x so once i will save it like i kept as a x here now if i will save it and go on the browser and let's run it then we'll see what it give the output so now we can see like any test case is not running here and all the test case are pending and why it is showing in this way because that full suit like that entire test suit we are not including into the execution so let's remove again this one from here and now it will again show the result on the browser so this is the way we can exclude a particular test suit or a particular unit test from the execution of the angular unit test case and for that what we have to do only we have to uh, like uh, prefix this x either before the describe or before the it 
so this is the way of excluding a particular unit test case or particular test suit from the angular unit test case so that's it for this video if you have any question and doubt please comment thank you